Welcome back to my garage. Tonight I'm making a fuel gauge, gauge, fuel gauge, gauge, a fuel gauge from a Tabasco bottle and various other stuff on the rat scoot. Let's go. So the plan is to have it sitting like this. And have it connected with a hose from the bottom here, with a hose uh, around the neck. And then there's a vent hole which I just drilled. Uh, on top, which will just vent to the atmosphere. But there will also be a vent up top like this and some kind of uh, encapsulation on top here, maybe some filtration too, so to uh, keep debris and stuff from getting into the tank. Uh, I will also weld in the fuel fitting on the bottom. The fittings are welded in, and now the bottle is supposed to sit between these two points. And I can, <laughs> and I uh, obviously did something wrong here because the vent here is coming out far too low compared to where this bottle is supposed to sit. Um, doesn't really matter. I'll connect them up like that. And I'll uh, do some stuff here to make this, or actually I will just keep that as a went there. And uh, I will make a cap that's welded on here and holds the bottle. Or maybe just some wire to hold the bottle on there. I can see an obvious flaw here now, and that is that uh, since the bottle is sitting so high, there won't actually be any fuel in it at all. So uh, I have to, I will have to rethink this uh, thing a bit. I think I'll be fine after all, because uh, if I remove this um, uh, the paper uh, thing, I'll, uh, I will see the fuel up here from when it's uh, half full and up and um, though it would be cool would be cooler if there was a lot of fuel here it would it will actually be better because then it won't, won't probably won't splash out so much so uh, i'll just remove the paper and i'll uh, see what i can do with the fitting up here so there it is Tabasco bottle as a fuel gauge with the vent protected by some uh, ripped cloth, a ripped uh, t shirt, piece of a t shirt. And um, yeah, I think it looks kind of cool. My plan for the coolant reservoir is uh, this rum bottle, as you've seen before. And um, I've just bent some pieces of steel and I'm going to mount it about like this it'll be sitting about there a little bit higher there so that's the bracket welded in and I've uh, stuffed uh, some a piece of uh, fabric down in there so so that it's uh, so for some dampening so now it's on to the plumbing I'm going to use uh, a copper pipe from here and down and to the radiator and connect it with the short pieces of a radiator hose. So that's with the copper pipe mounted. 
or mocked up it's just stripped uh, on here but um, that's how it's going to be and I'm going to root a pipe down here too and to the vent on the radiator and into this uh, air fitting so this is a few days later than uh, what you just saw and um, the fuel gauge I have uh, modified it a bit because I because this was a, the vent line was just venting to the atmosphere here and there was also a vent hole in the top of the Tabasco bottle and uh, I had made a small a vent piece of wire and uh, and some stuff and I wasn't uh, uh, totally pleased with it so this is version 2 and uh, the only thing I've done is I've uh, drilled a second hole in the bottle and I've connected the vent to the bottle so now the only vent is the top of the bottle and uh, and yeah so uh, I think it's better because there won't be so much leakage from the vent and also it looks much cleaner and cooler I also added this uh, piece here to stop any uh, potential leaks and this is a filter for the for the vent line yep so uh, and I also added this uh, bandana for um, extra cool points and um, yep so next up I'm going to cut a hole here to get some airflow to the radiator and I'm going to cover that hole with a piece of copper that I drill a bunch of holes in I think I'll hammer it somewhat flat and um, drill a bunch of holes in the middle of it, or maybe just uh, three, four large ones, and um, stitch it in there. That's it. Pretty hard on my drill press here. My cheap Chinese crappy piece of shit. I'm going to attach it with some uh, steel wire. It will be attached something like that. Twist it together on the back side and do the other holes and I'll show you the result. And now I hopefully got enough airflow to the radiator to keep it from uh, overflowing, boiling. Because if it boils I think I will get a nice hot splash of water in my face. So um, I'll have to keep an eye on that. I think uh, it's time to start looking into the electronics and see how much of the wiring harness I can uh, cut away and start thinking about where to hide it basically. What we will have to keep is the coil, the plug that goes to the stator, the voltage regulator will have to stay because I plan to run the lights of 
12 volts DC or maybe 12 volts AC I'm not quite sure if uh, the battery is needed if it isn't if I can just start it and run the lights and everything uh, off the stator through the regulator um, then I'll just ditch the battery altogether if not I will have to keep it I think I'll just start cutting away what I don't need so I'll see if I can find a diagram for which wire is what or just trace it and um, what I will have to keep from the regulator and then start just start cutting away everything not needed yep okay so uh, this is what I'm left with uh, it's quite a bit more manageable now than what it was before uh, so I'll just start uh, here and I'll tell you what all the bits are so this thing is um, as I found out uh, this unit is not only the voltage uh, regulator but it's also uh, the blinker relay so this is um, the blinking line so uh, there's a constant on off uh, 12 volt supply on this uh, wire uh, so yeah if I want blinkers I don't think so but anyway uh, here's the um, supply voltage for the um, choke if I'm going uh, automatic choke um, why not when I have it the regulator the coil and to the stator and here's the kill switch wire or, um, so I'll use that probably use that as my ignition switch um, here's the charging so that's the charging um, coil wire from the charging coil and it goes into this uh, fuse box and then to the battery and from the battery we, um, there's the ignition switch and then to this line which was everything that's uh, DC on the bike so uh, that's it so wh uh, what I'll do is I'll make a box uh, for the voltage regulator and maybe the coil too the same box and um, just to hide everything away and I'll run some wires to uh, the rear light and the front light and an ignition switch and that's it yep so I'll start thinking about what to do for a box. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.